So what's up everybody? This is Michael, aka Yoski Broski, aka The Real Smiley. So I'm just going to show you what I have set up on my 10700K with the MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. So if I open CPU ID here, CPU Z, I'll show you I have it at 5.1 dynamic right now. I run it dynamic, run it however you want. So there you go, boom, boom. I'll run a Cinebench R20 just so you can see those temperatures. That's all I run, I don't run Prime 95. I just game, so there's really no point for me. So this is R20, let's run it. Look at the temperatures. Oh. That might affect the score. Doesn't matter. Just looking at these temps. There you go. If you can see them. There's my temperatures with Cinebench R20 running. I think I'm set on silent on my NZXT cam software. So that's, yeah. Here's the max on each core, 10700K, 5.1 gigahertz. So we'll look at the MOSFETs right here. If you can see it. Sorry, I'm using my phone here. There we go. Whoopsie. Let me open that back up. I don't know why it closed. We'll run it again. Uncut raw right here, buddy. Let's get this. There we go. Do that again. We'll watch the MOSFETs here. I don't see uh, VRM temps. Maybe that's what VR means? I don't know. But, here's the MOS here. 52. It's running. So far, it's maxed at 53, 54. So you can look over here at the core clocks. Set at 51. Uh, there's your voltages. Max 1.339, 1.34. Max temps 80 on core two. We'll rerun that. Let's let's look at the cam software. See what it's set to. Silent. Let's try it on performance. Let's see. So CPU sitting at 35. It's a little warm in here. I'll turn the air conditioner off so you wouldn't have to hear it in the background. Usually runs in the low 30s. It's close. It's about it's a few degrees higher than usual but it's still good all right we'll run it with camo performance see if we get a difference let's look max 80 on cores two and four was the highest mosfet here max 58.5 so let's run it again with nzxt cam set to performance do that. Let me back this camera up. I don't have a capture card, so it is what it is, I guess. Uh, fix this focus here. Okay, so here, here we go on performance settings with the NZXT cam. 
Go back up to core temps. I didn't get to it. Uh, right there. Sorry, it's not in focus too well. Let's see. There we go. I should have reset the. Uh, I haven't seen any go to that 80 yet. Unless I missed it. These max are from the last, these maxes are from the last run. So 79 on core two. Cool. Got a dog in here, just ran in here. So enjoy that. There we go, 80 on core two. Cinebench R20 is pretty toasty in here. It's definitely mid seventies in here at least. I don't know what that is in Celsius. All right. So I'll show you my settings in the BIOS in case anybody's curious. We'll take a look at it. So here we go. This is what I did. I don't know anything about it. I, I Googled, watched YouTube videos. Um, and I took the risk of just trying it myself. So do this at your own risk. Let me hit delete a thousand times. I learned that on YouTube. <laughs> Overclocking. Yeah, let's see if I can back it up so we can see more of what's going on here. Yes, I'm using my uh, S20 Ultra to take this video. It's on a little bipod or tripod. All right, so I'll put it on expert, obviously, so you get more options. You know, whatever. So boom, hit that on export. I put it on all cores. CPU ratio was uh, 38, 43, whatever it comes at. I can't remember. Um, I can do a video. I can reset all the defaults, but I have Optane memory. I'll have to disable that. And then I can just reset all the defaults and go through it if someone wants me to but this is just my setting so you can just copy them i put it on dynamic mode i don't like it running at full speed probably doesn't matter but you can put it on fixed mode it's fine ring ratio i've always heard set it three below your cpu ratio that's what i did here of course having that xmp enabled 3200 megahertz um 32 gigabytes corsair vengeance rgb pro I set it to next boot. So just to go down through these, expert, all core, 51, fixed or dynamic, whatever. Set your ring ratio three below, whatever your CPU ratio is. I always enable XMP, of course, because why not? It's gonna give you the fastest speeds. It's gonna go ahead and set the voltage that's necessary automatically. So we got all that. Come down here. Uh, I set this to 1.33, it was auto. I set that to 1.2, it was auto. I set this to 1.2. DRAM voltage, I just locked it. 1.35, close to what it was already. I just locked it rather than auto. Let's see if I did anything in here. Yep, so right here, my load line calibration control. I used mode three. So you can see the line. I set that to mode three. This is MSI, MPG, um, Gaming Edge Wi-Fi, Z490, uh, 10700K i7. Let's see here. What else did I change? So I think I went into here. Nope, not there. So we go CPU features. Nope. So you can look at what all these are set to. Let's go back to, uh, you can pause it if I went too fast. Go back up here to advanced CPU configuration. I enabled, if it wasn't already, hyper threading. Yeah, so those are all enabled per core. Works for me. I don't know if you're supposed to, but that's the way it is. Disabled C states. Come down here, long duration power limit. Don't remember what it was set to. I set it to max, 4.96. Long duration maintain, I guess it's the turbo speed. It's set at whatever here. Whatever, I go to 128, max it out. 
4096, boom. All this is auto. You can use fixed mode dynamic. I use dynamic. That's just me. Doesn't matter. As far as I know. So we go here. Yep. That's about it. Those are the settings that I used. Seems to do fine. I've had no issues. So we'll boot it up. run R15. <laughs> open Dragon Center. So I open Dragon Center to close some of the background uh, programs that are running or whatever, clear some RAM up. So that's the only thing I use this Dragon Center for is RAM and Mystic Lighting or whatever it's called, Mystic Light. So I'll just show you what I do with this, if you have it. Okay, it takes a minute, yep. This is taking a while, my apologies. Let's get it. Here it goes, about to load, there we go. Monitor, boom, I go over here. I hit this little button, free up memory. And I close this. Yeah, I don't use any of this stuff. You set any of these, they'll override your overclock in your BIOS, by the way. So if you have this set and you try to go into your BIOS, do an overclock and load into Windows, the overclock from the BIOS will start when you boot into Windows, but then this will run and, and override it and set it to whatever this was set up. Just disable it. So if you have one of these select, just click it again, and it'll clear this little scenario um, field here. We'll clear and be, you know, there won't be anything in it. That means it's not running. That's all I use it for. I go to monitor, I clear free up memory, whatever, I use that. Maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. I do it. <laughs> Let me close it down here. All right, we'll run 15, let's see. Let's look at these temps. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to open it in time. You can hear the fans ramping up. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're ramping up. All right, so it's still running. Maxed at 75 on core four. That was nothing. It handles it just fine. MOSFET maxed out at 53. That seems to be 53, 54 degrees. Doesn't matter what I set it at. This board can handle it. In my opinion, I mean, I don't know much about them. But, you know, you hear people talk about BRMs. Yeah, but 5, 5.1, it's nothing. Get the Z490. Save some money if you want. Get the Wi-Fi gaming edge, I guess. Or don't. <laughs> Get the $500 one. It works fine. There's my max voltage. Let me know. I can I can set everything to default. I can disable my Optane memory. Why not? Let's save it. Yeah, why not? I can disable it. I just go in this Intel Rapid Storage. But if I clear the cache, the game's gonna load slower on the first load. But uh, you know, all I have to do is disable it. So by the way, I've got Optane on a uh, two terabyte drive. I just got the 16 gigabyte Optane. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I don't, I'm not a pro or anything, but we'll, I'll show you what I did. Take care.